Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a special video tonight, and this is for more talk on Skillet's new album Dominion and more that I'm going to be discussing about closer to the end of the video. The more section is going to be basically just more things to talk about that I actually noticed when watching a certain video today. Uh, but I'm going to discuss what I, I'm going to be talking about in this video and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this special video. Now, I got to hear Dominion a few more times, and I still don't like the album. Um, basically, the first two songs on the album are disappointing, in my opinion. And it's just the way the overall sound is utilized. It doesn't sound very well uh, produced and just, it's kind of eh to listen through for the first two songs because surviving the game is a little bit of a disappointment and standing in the storm was too. But Dominion has grown on me a bit more. So I'd probably give it like a 3 or 3.5 out of 5. One of those. It's somewhere around that area. Uh, maybe 3.5 out of 5. Because it's grown on me a little more. So it's an average track. Um, I do like The Valley of Death. That was a good song. Um, 5 out of 5 for me on that one. I like how it's sounding overall. Beyond Incredible... It's utilized all right. It's a decent song. It's just not the best track. It's better than Surviving the Game and Standing in the Storm. Because those two tracks had just the electronic work and then the trap beats and Standing in the Storm didn't sound very good. So it wasn't utilized right, is what I'm trying to say, and produced perfectly or how it's gonna sound and all that uh but yeah then is uh destiny and that song was average i just don't like the back and forth uh harmonizing the back and forth that jen and john do in the song the i can't i can't i won't i won't uh stuff that they do it's kind of cringy honestly and then comes refuge and that's one of my personal favorite songs but shout your freedom is very upbeat and i can understand why some critics are saying it's not their best song and i watched a channel that basically uh said uh that the song was so arena rock kind of stuff and that's his opinion, which is fine. I personally think it's utilized right, but it is very arena rock, honestly. So I can agree on that aspect, but I still like Shout Your Freedom, in my opinion. But then is Destroyer, and that song is decent. It's not the best song, but it's decent. And Forever or the End is getting a 4.5 out of 5, or maybe a 5. Because I do like how it's sounding. And Ignite was not a bad song. And then comes the atrocious song to close this album out. And this didn't even have to be on the album. Uh, but it was. They should have picked Rage for the closing track. But nope. They picked White Horse, and White Horse is a mess. And for a score for me now, I'd give Dominion like a 4.5 out of 5. 4.5 out of 10, I meant to say. It's not a good album at all. And White Horse is getting a 0 out of 5 now, because I can't stand that song. It's not produced right it's not sounding great structurally it's 
a fucking mess of a track, honestly. So, I just can't stand that song. But, and some of their arena rock songs, it sounds like it's been done before so many times. So, yeah. Um, but I'll mention the other thing I'm going to say towards the end of the video, which is going to have a little bit of hope for you guys that I'm surprised that I'm going to be talking about that. Which, yeah, um, yeah, 4.5 out of 10 for me on skill at Dominion, it's pretty bad, honestly. It's their worst album to date. So, yeah, that's gonna be my two cents on what I think of that album. Now the more thing I'm gonna talk about. Um, I watched a video by Rockfeed or whatever. Shout out to him, he's a good youtuber and also keeps you up on the latest news on the rock news and all that sorry i burped for a moment um <clears throat> and sorry my throat got scratchy for a second um yeah uh i was surprised with what john cooper said from skillet in the rock feed interview that rock feed interviewed him and all that, so I was really surprised. He told, he didn't, like, say that he's telling people to not take the vaccine or get the vaccine. He's just telling people to think for yourself, honestly. And the way it's sounding, it sounds like he is, but no, he's just expressing his own opinion on what he thinks of the vaccine. Like, he may be anti-vax, an anti-vaccine person, kind of person, that's fine, but uh, it's his choice, what he wants to think and do and all that, but I had to get the vaccine because uh, I do not want to get COVID, for sure, because <laughs> it's pretty fucking scary from what I heard and all that, but basically, yeah. I don't think I'm going to hate on John Cooper anymore, because I, I don't like Skillet, per se, as much as I used to, but I'm not going to hate on him anymore, so I'm just going to say I'm sorry for misreading what you said, uh, so please forgive me on that, John Cooper. I just wanted to... Uh, express how I felt towards your videos at the time, but now and it doesn't matter anymore, honestly. So basically, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I'm I misread what he said. I thought he said that he's telling people to not take the get the vaccine or whatever. So that was on me. That was my fuck up or whatever. So I misread it and was being such a douchebag in that video of Cooper stuff is at it again and I don't like Cooper stuff kind of things. I don't agree with what he does, but if he, uh, well, he's got a huge fan base, which I don't hate Cooper stuff anymore. I just think. His band Skillet, eh, they're not very good anymore, but some radio rock, arena rock stuff that they do can be utilized right, as long as it has good lyrics and a good beat, but other than that, the other songs on the album are kind of underwhelming, honestly, so yeah, that's going to be the video it for the video uh comment below let me know what you guys thought of this special video for more talk on skillet's new album dominion and more and if you enjoyed this uh special video i made for you guys tonight comment below and let me know your thoughts on it tap a like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel like i said i don't hate john cooper anymore 
because now that I got a better understanding of what he meant by telling, saying that he's not for the vaccine, he's just expressing his own opinion. So I was like, ah, oh, shit, I just came off as a dick towards his calling out his channel. So I'm not going to call out his channel anymore. So I'm done with that. Uh, but basically, I hope he can forgive me for what I did uh, for a few months ago uh, on my channel when I made videos about him and his channel. But I don't hate his channel. He can do what he wants. But it's not like I'm going to agree with what he says. But I can understand why he's saying, like, giving his own opinion about what he thinks of the vaccine and other things like that. I would say get vaccinated, but uh, that's your choice. It all comes down to choices that you make. But anyways, sorry for dragging this video out very long. I just wanted to explain what I thought of Dominion. I don't like the album at all. So it's gotten even worse after me listening to it more. And White Horse is the worst song on the album. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this special video. I'm going to close it out here by saying thank you so much for watching more talk on Skillet's new album, Dominion, and more. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, take care, and as always, I'll see you in my next video.